All right, we're back. So it's been about two days since I did the last video talking about the paper templates. I've got the uh, running boards on fairly loosely. I built new mounts for the rears, got them attached to the body. The original mounts were riveted to the frame in two locations and then bolted at a, a third location. Made some details on how that works. I've got the uh, rear fender kind of hanging on here by a, a jack on one corner. And then uh, I've got three fasteners hanging it onto the uh, running board. So the way this attaches is there's like a flange on the inside of the fender and they use like uh, quarter inch sheet metal tapping screws to go into the uh, body to hold it on. And that ultimately ended up being the demise of the uh, rear quarters. Putting in those fasteners probably wasn't a, a wise idea. So I'll have to come up with a bit better solution when I put this together. I might weld some captive nuts in or something so that it doesn't uh, destroy the vehicle shortly after I get it all fixed up. So one thing I was talking about was relationships of everything to each other. And I wasn't sure how the uh, front of the uh, rear fender wells finished. But I can see that there's actually a place that I need to be able to bolt into so I know that it comes down and pretty much completes and matches up with the rockers. The other thing I wasn't sure about was the uh, gap uh, between the running board and the uh, body. So I've got that figured out. So it ends up being about two and an eighth inches from the bottom of the door to the running board all along. I have to lift this side up a little bit, but what you'll find is it's about two and an eighth. And then it's either, it's about an inch all the way along between the uh, bead and the uh, fender. So there is a, a fairly long gap all the way along. So that's uh, easy enough to replicate. And uh, this kind of turns, sorry, this turns into more of like a square kind of uh, transition. It doesn't have the nice uh, round bead that it starts off as. So again, that looks like it's going to be relatively easy to manufacture. Other than I've got to make a, an inner and an outer and they're fairly long and they've got to nest into each other. So I guess something's that easy. But anyway, at least I don't need to do any super round contours. So I got that on. You can adjust the attachments a bit. I don't know how well you can see that because I can't see the screen. You can see what I've done here. I need to flare this out at the end because you can see there's a bolt hole on either side of it that it is missing. These were actually the rivets on the uh, X frame portion. And then the main frame was a, a bolt. So that, that worked out pretty good. Take a look at my uh, sketch here. You need to make these rear things. So the holes are 9 16 inch from the top. I used one by three. I think they were like 14 inches long or something. So uh, the first hole is an inch in, then the eight inch spacing, and then three inch spacing. The hole on the top here is 25 64 so as you can see the other holes were 5 16 holes. And there was a quarter inch space. There's one hole that's not used, but it gives you a reference to the hole through the top. I haven't drawn the remainder of it that goes into the X frame portion. I gotta weld something on. So this is my uh, temporary door handle. Actually works pretty good. Fits into the square pretty good. So again, like I mentioned, it's about an inch and an eighth between the running board and the bottom of the door. It is constant, so when you're mount this on, just make sure that you follow it steady the whole way and decide whether you want to have the running board sitting at like the bottom of the fasteners which is probably where it's going to be after you step on a few times or on the top. Can't put this one on right now. Don't have the jack to support it. And then I got to remove this uh, repair sort of in the way. 
like I said, they had uh, put in just like uh, tapping uh, sheet metal screws into here. And everywhere there was a screw, there's now a giant hole. So, lesson learned there. And you can see I'm using just regular fasteners at this point. My intent is to buy uh, period correct fasteners. Not that easy to find uh, where I live. So uh, hopefully we'll get that figured out. I will warn you that pretty much every bolt on this car has special fasteners and uh, the thread pitches are kind of weird. They're like the non-standard, like for a half, it was like half 14 or half 20. These kind of fit in the middle and you would have to get these fasteners made for you. So don't screw them up. Take your time taking it apart. We're planning to have a machine shop make new ones for you. So uh, I keep plugging away at it. I'm not sure what my next step is going to be other than the chase on this side of the vehicle. And uh, have another update video sometime in the future. So we're back on the uh, driver's side now. And things are going well. The uh, Whoever the designers were for this car, I think it was Murray Coachworks or something like that. They were fantastic. This car is very similar from one side to the other. I can't say for sure if you can see it or not, but the uh, this is where the uh, lock set goes for the front door. And the holes are perfect. Everything seems to be very close, like maybe a 16th or 32nd inch difference, which is probably my error level rather than theirs. I will say that this hinge is in a little bit different spot, but that's the hinge, that's uh, not the actual body work. Well, as you can see that the lines are exactly the same on both sides of the car. I'm very impressed. A little bit different here, but it might just be the paper getting pulled by that thing over there, throwing off everything. So I'm going to do the tracing here, then I'll need to make my templates there so I can do the door skins. We hopping around on different jobs on this vehicle as I'm moving along. There's some things I'm more comfortable with than others, so I do some easy stuff and some hard stuff, like from my perspective just to keep myself motivated. So anyway, I'm very excited with this. This is actually going to work. If you have an older vehicle or a, a hand-built vehicle, this is not going to work. I've heard cars are off even in length by several inches from one side to the other. But uh, because this was a, a factory production body, it's, uh, it's dead on. All right, it's been a couple minutes and I've got it. I got my trace all the way around. So I got the uh, full profile of the door. The back door I got to remove about an 18 gauge uh, around the whole bottom piece because there was a patch there it was welded on it was a bit wide. Got my wheel opening here. So uh, again I got the uh, handle connections. So I'm pretty happy worked out so I've got a I think I got enough metal to do the uh, door bottoms so I got to decide to what extent I do some uh, grinding and investigating see how much uh, height I'm gonna do on these but uh, I think I'm pretty happy with that